Hey everybody, if you haven't already, one of the best things you can do is go and dig up all the contracts from all of your IT vendors, service providers, and carriers. If you're paying a regular bill, monthly, quarterly, annually, on any sort of IT-related service or solution, maintenance agreement, software licenses, support contract, anything like that, then make sure you know where these contracts are, they're easy to find, and if you have to, or if you can, scan them and digitize them and put them in your filing system and make sure that other people can find them as well. Next, you want to take a few moments, quickly review those and gather all the pertinent information. The highlights you want to capture are at least the service provider name, quick description of what they are doing for you, the terms, of course, uh, how long, you know, how long is the contract, and then important dates, the start date, the sign date, the end date, any other important dates that uh, make sense. End dates can be a little tricky sometimes, um, although service providers have gotten a lot better over the years regarding the termination of contracts. But depending on line items, depending on the provider, different services may have started at a different time, so you want to watch out for some of those things. The sign date and the start date they could be the same, they could be different. It all kind of depends. Many software and cloud services, the start date and the sign date are going to be the same. Other services, really anything that requires kind of a prolonged implementation, well, the official start date isn't going to happen until the implementation is complete. Do yourself a favor, get all of this information organized now. Update it as needed whenever you drop a vendor, whenever you bring on a new vendor or replace a vendor and then make sure you review it annually at least. This quick reference guide that you've just created can be very helpful when you're working with um, working with the executive team, maybe your boss, whomever, and uh, you're in that strategy session. You're trying to figure out a potential solution to a problem or you're, you're trying to, to meet some certain goals. You'll be in a much better position when it comes time to, if you ever need to trim the fat on the budget later on, You'll be able to prioritize any renewals or replacements or cancellations for these vendors and based on the end dates. You'll also be able to reverse engineer any projects moving forward. Some projects take a lot more time and a lot more energy, require a lot more planning. So based on those end dates, you'll be able to re reverse engineer at least six months for most contracts. And depending on the complexity and the people involved, um, sometimes nine, 12, maybe even 18 months. Getting organized helps with so many different things. Uh, especially when dealing with vendors. This is something that uh, we work with our clients, uh, help them to organize these, uh, the vendors and the contracts whenever we're working on any sort of technology sourcing project for our clients. If you want to learn more, if you need any help getting organized, just want to talk and chat, let me know in the comments below, direct message me, reach out. I'm here for you and I'm happy to help.